Hallelujah. We thank God for our each and every elder, minister, hallelujah, each and every pastor, hallelujah, that's here in the minister, hallelujah. We give God the glory, hallelujah, for his people. Let's thank God for each of you, hallelujah, for the youth, hallelujah. We give him glory, hallelujah. We serve an awesome God. Jesus is the light of the world, hallelujah. He's the light of life, hallelujah. Jesus is the source of that light, and he's the source of light for all humanity. He redeemed us from sin, and for that we ought to give him our best praise, hallelujah. Hallelujah. We ought to give him all the glory. He saved us from darkness. Hallelujah. He guided us and he's still keeping us and guiding us. Hallelujah. With his light, with his spirit and his word. Hallelujah. So through Christ, our relationship is restored. Hallelujah. With God. Hallelujah. And we give him the glory for that. It was nothing but Jesus. It was nothing but the blood of Jesus that has restored us and connected us back to the Father. Hallelujah. John 8, 12, New King James Virgin say, Then Jesus spoke to them again, saying, I am the light of the world. He who follows, he who follows me, Hallelujah, should not walk in darkness, but have the light of life. How many have the light of life today? Hallelujah, hallelujah, glory to God. So as believers, hallelujah, Christ followers, we have the light of life on the inside of us. That is Jesus. Jesus is the light of the world. So if the light is in us, we have Jesus, hallelujah. He has called us, called us out of this world, hallelujah, to be that light. We are the light of the world that set on a hill to shine in this dark world, hallelujah. So we reflect the glory, hallelujah, in the presence of God everywhere we go, hallelujah. So God has called us out of darkness, and to his light. So as children of light, we belong to God. And we're set apart. Hallelujah. We're consecrated. Hallelujah. For his will and for his purpose. So he called and chosen his people to be a light to the nations. Hallelujah. He called and chosen us to be a light to the Gentiles, as we know, which is known today as unbelievers. Hallelujah. So as a child of light, we live different from the world. We live different from the worldly behaviors, which represent sin. We live apart from that, hallelujah, because of what Jesus done on the cross, hallelujah. Sin no longer has power over us. Although we're battling in this sinful nature, we can resist sin, hallelujah. We can resist Satan, and he got to go. He will flee in the name of Jesus because of the power of God, because of the blood of Jesus, because light lives on the inside of you, children of light. Hallelujah. So we don't copy and mimic and indulge or practice the sinful, worldly behaviors as this ungodly, worldly system does. Hallelujah. You're set apart. You're set apart. God say, be ye separated. Come from amongst them. Hallelujah. So there's some things that we have to separate ourselves from. Hallelujah. There's some things that we have to stop indulging in. Hallelujah. And trust God and let God cleanse us. Let God sanctify us. He sanctify us each and every day. Hallelujah. Walk in the spirit. Hallelujah. So that you don't fulfill the lust of the flesh. Glory to God. So Romans 12 and 2, it tells us, be not conformed to this world. In other words, don't copy the world badly behaviors. 
Hallelujah. What does the world represent? It represents a spiritual, worldly system. A spiritual, worldly system that's clouded and filled with darkness. So when the Bible speaks of separating yourself from the world, you have to separate yourself from a system that is full of darkness, that's full of evil, that's full of corruption. He has called you out for a purpose. He has set you apart for a purpose. This worldly system, this world is filled with darkness, spiritual darkness, spiritual wickedness, and death, and sin. It's evil. It's corrupt. It opposes God. Meaning this world goes against everything about God, what God stands for. This world goes against his laws, his ordinance, his commands, his holy word. Hallelujah. And guess who it's controlled by? Satan. Yes, he is the enemy, our adversary. Satan represents wickedness, evil. He's separated from God for the rest of his life, eternal life. And he has his day. Hallelujah. So Satan, he controls and he influences this worldly system. The Bible identify him as the prince of air. Hallelujah. So he, he manifests these evils, things that we see, violence, hatred, hallelujah, things that we see, sickness and diseases. He's ruling the air along with these demonic powers who's under the influence of Satan. Hallelujah. Bringing destruction, bringing death, and not only physical death, because there's a spiritual death, youth, a spiritual death. So when we leave this earth, we're going to either choose God or Satan. We're going to either choose life, which is in God, or eternal death, which this system, Satan's control. Satan, what he has done, he's corrupted the hearts of man. He's blinded the minds of unbelievers. They're blind. They're, they're in spiritual darkness. Unbelievers, those who have not accepted Jesus as their Lord and Savior are unbelievers. Those that are separated from God. He's blinded their minds. An unbeliever is someone who lives in spiritual darkness and sin. But this is where the children of light comes in. We are to shine the light of Christ on the inside. And what we do, we point others to Jesus. Because they are in spiritual darkness. They can't see. So they need a light. What light does? Light, light guides in the darkness. Light guides in the darkness. So when you're in the darkness, you can't see. But light guides. And as children of God, followers of Christ, children of the light, we help guide those who are in the darkness, unbelievers, those who are lost, those that have resisted God. We guide them to the light. The scripture said that Jesus is the light of the world. So we point others back to Christ. So that means we can't blend in and look like the world because we have a responsibility. We're supposed to guide. Hallelujah. Guide in holiness. Guide with a holy lifestyle. Not copying their behaviors. But man, look at us and they look at the glory of God by our behavior. They look at the glory of God by the fruit that we carry. The youth just learned one of the fruits of the spirit, patience. They see the, the glory of God, the characteristics of God through you. 
They see love when they see so much hatred in this world. They see joy when they see so much sorrow and depression in this world. The joy of the Lord is your strength. So no matter what we're going through, we have the joy of the Lord. This is a promise. This is permanent for us. So as we connect with, the God, with God, hallelujah, and in his presence, we can experience that joy. They see faithfulness. They see kindness. If you look around this world, that's not a lot of kindness. But you, as a child of light, you can display that. We have the power. You have the ability to walk in a life of purity. You have the ability to carry the fruit of God. It's in you, every born-again believer. The light is in you. His seed is in you. So it's impossible to just participate in sin and make it a practice because the seed of Christ is in you as a believer, as a follower of Christ, as a child of the light. So it's possible to live a life of holiness and righteousness for the glory, hallelujah, of God. It's possible to love when there's so much hatred. Through Christ Jesus, we can. Yes, we can be kind. Yes, we can be patient. Long-suffering. We're going to go through some things. As children of God, we're going to be persecuted. Because we stand out. The world loves its own. The world hates everything, remember, that's evolved around God. It opposes God. So if you stand for Christ and Christ lives in you, the world and you don't have nothing in common. It's all equally yoked. So we stand for Christ. We want to be devoted. That's what holiness is. Committed. See, when you're devoted to something, you care about it a lot. God called us into holiness. But the thing is, we're so devoted with so many things, and we're so concerned about this world, which will soon pass away. And everything that's sinful and corrupted in it shall pass away. So we want to be devoted to God, to have that zeal for Christ, be excited to share good news. Jesus have died for our sins. We no longer have to be separated from God. Hallelujah. We can have eternal life. We can possess and have, hallelujah, an inheritance in God. We can be in the kingdom of God forever with Jesus. That's good news. Good news. Hallelujah. Jesus done already settled that debt. It's already, be it's already been fulfilled. We're just waiting for our Savior. So while we wait, we want to shine and bring others. This walk is not about us. We're here to bring others and point them to Christ, to bring others to the kingdom of God. Because Jesus Christ is returning. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So we've been called and chosen to be, to be separated from Christ. We are called to live different from others that are in this world. We are called to live holy and righteous. Glory to God. We want to do what's pleasing to God in our conduct, which is our behavior, words, what we say. We want to speak. Good words, not offensive words, not bad words. We want to please God in our conscience, our thoughts, what we think. Hallelujah. In our character, our personality. We want to conform to the image of Christ. Hallelujah. To be more like him. Glory to God. 
So as the light, we don't practice sin. We live according to God's will. We live according to God's way. Hallelujah. We separate ourselves from sin in this world. We are called. We are chosen to be a light. Amen. We're not called to remain in darkness. See, we was once in darkness, but Jesus Christ saved our lives. Hallelujah. That's a blessing. Hallelujah. So we're not called to remain in darkness. If you can, we're going to turn, hallelujah, to 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 and 5. We're set apart. Hallelujah. We're set apart for his will. To walk in righteousness, to walk in holiness. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 and 5, it says, Ye are all the children of light. In other words, you are all the children of light and the children of the day. We are not of the night, nor of darkness. Again, you are all of the children of light and the children of day. We are not of the night, nor of darkness. So you've God hates sin. And what sin does, it separates us from a holy God. Remember the song that we were just singing to God? Sin separate us from a holy God. Glory to God. And in the Bible, Galatians, the book of Galatians, chapter 5, verses 9 through 19, excuse me, through 21, it speaks about the works of the flesh. There's a list, a long list, hallelujah. And it speaks about those who do it, participate in it, make it a practice, will not inherit the kingdom of God. So that means they're going to be separated from God forever if they don't repent, meaning if we don't turn away from sin, turn away from it, turn to God, the light, and confess our faults, confess our sins and the things we've done against the holy God. If we don't turn away from it and repent, yeah, we're in trouble forever. Separated from him forever we have to get it right right now each and every one of us right now and God has given us the ability and the power through his spirit hallelujah to resist Satan hallelujah but God is so gracious even when we fall short of the glory, even when we make a mistake again, remember we talked about repentance, turning away from our sins, our bad behaviors, the wrong things we do, and talk to God about them. Hallelujah. God will forgive us. He will forgive us. If we're sorry, Now, the one, keep doing it and practicing and practicing, like deliberately sinning. I'm just going to keep doing it, keep doing it, keep doing it. That's not true repentance. You're really, really not sorry. It's a difference. There were some things, and even now, because see, God is still sanctifying us. He's still changing us. He, he still cleanses us. Cleansing us, excuse me. There were some things. I had some weaknesses. Still do. Hallelujah. We all deal with this sinful nature. Some of us need a little bit more patience. Hallelujah. Some of us need a little bit more self-control. Some of us need a little bit more kindness. Some of us need to listen to the voice of God when he tell us to go and do it. We need to obey. <laughs> Hallelujah. So it's a process. 
Glory to God. The Bible tells us, according to 1 John 1, 9, this is when we, we make mistakes and we can ask God for forgiveness. It says, like when we confess our sins, sins, God is faithful and just to forgive our sins. And it don't end there. Guess what he do, saints of God? Many of us know. And he cleanses us from unrighteousness. He cleanses us. So when I fall short of the glory, hallelujah, I come to God, I cry out to God in my weakness, hallelujah. Lord, help me, God, in the name of Jesus. Cleanse me, God. He cleanses me. He forgives and cleanses me. And we get up. We wipe our face. We stand for holiness and we keep walking in the light of God. We continue to run this race. Hallelujah. And the prize is Jesus Christ. The prize is eternal life. And not only that we're walking, we're not going to walk alone. We're going to bring others with us. Hallelujah. We're going to encourage our brothers and sisters. We're going to encourage one another while we're walking. While we're running. I heard the minister say that we all have a different pace. Some of us walk, some of us jog, some of us run. And I also heard another minister say, endure till the end. So as long as we endure till the end, those that shall endure till the end, they shall be saved. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So that list, just a few. The list that speaks of the works of the flesh. Jealousy, hatred, envy, adultery, idolizing people, things, our position, our money, our clothes, putting things before God. God said he shall have no other gods before him. There's only one true living God. Hallelujah. One. And there's a list of many others along with a list of sexual immorality. Hallelujah. So we want to come out of stealing. If it don't belong to you, don't take it. Don't touch it. Hallelujah. Lying. Oh, it's just a little lie. No, a lie is a lie. White lie is a lie. Don't be deceived. Don't be tricked by the enemy. It's a lie. Actually, it's detestable to God. He hates a liar. It's an abomination. Cheating. No cheating on those tests and other different things we try to get out of. Let's do it with the right way. Lord, help us and trust God. Gossiping, hatred. You see that group gossiping and spreading rumors about somebody? Dismiss yourself, God bless you, and go the other way. Hallelujah. In school, wherever you are, you're children of light. We represent love and kindness. Hatred, wrath, all of that fighting. We see a lot of it in our neighborhoods, school, news. It's everywhere. Don't participate and just run to it. Don't run to it. Run, run away from it and start praying. Hallelujah. And if there's nobody there, go find a teacher or a staff, somebody. We don't entertain that. That's someone with a lot of hatred and anger. We can be angry, but we don't, it, it, it gets sinful when we have hatred. Amen. We don't hurt one another. We don't murder with our mouths, saying bad things about people, one another. We're called to love, amen. So while we're in this world, we want to protect 
our spiritual gates, protect what we see, protect what we hear, protect our ears by what we hear, excuse me, protect our spirit. Because this world is polluted. Remember, this worldly system donates. It means it represents darkness, spiritual darkness and sin. This world is polluted and contaminated with sin. So we have to protect ourselves. And the thing about it, it's increasing more. We are seeing things like never before. Unlawful things. Unsin- like sinful things that's, again, detestable to God. Laws that are detestable to God. So we want to keep ourselves in the light. Turn with me, if you can, Titus 2, chapter 2, verses 11 through 14. I'll be reading from the New Living Translation, if that's okay, Pastor. Amen. Glory to God. Titus, the book of Titus, chapter 2, verses 11 through 14. It says, for the grace of God has been revealed, bringing salvation to all people. Remember, Jesus is the light of the world. And we are instructed to turn from godless living and sinful pleasures. Youth, we are instructed to turn away from bad things, evil behavior that is not good behavior. We should live in this world, this, excuse me, we should live in this evil world with wisdom, righteousness, and devotion to God. Verse 13, while we look forward with hope to that wonderful day when the glory of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ, will be revealed. And just going back a little Verse 12, when we're living in this evil world, while we're living in this evil world, my encouragement is for us to live in wisdom, righteousness, and devotion to God. In other words, keep living holy. Keep living that righteous life that God has called and chosen you to live. Walk in wisdom. Walk in the word of God. Walk in his truth. Hallelujah. Make good decisions. Hallelujah. And remain devoted to God. So whatever God called you to be, and if you don't fully know what that is, continue to serve the God wherever you are. Continue to be that living sacrifice to him. Devote your time to him. Draw closer to him. Hallelujah. But the fact of the matter is you are a Christ. Sorry, forgive me. You are a child of the light. Followers of Christ is what I wanted to say. Hallelujah. And you're chosen and called to live in holiness. And our main purpose is to point others to Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So 13, again, while we look forward with hope to that wonderful day when the glory of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ, will be revealed Hallelujah. So Christ is coming soon. He's coming back. Hallelujah. Verse 14. He gave his life to free us from every kind of sin. Jesus gave his life to free us from every, every, every kind of sin. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. Good news. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. To cleanse us and to make us his very own people, totally committed to doing good deeds. Hallelujah. So we want to continue, hallelujah, to shine in this dark world. Hallelujah. We want to continue to follow the will of God. And while we wait for him, because we're just traveling through this place, hallelujah, 
bring someone else with you, hallelujah, to run this race. Hallelujah. So I encourage you all, hallelujah, to continue to run the race, shine for Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. Come on, let's give him a praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's give God a hand clap of praise.